truth. I want to know the reasons behind all of this, but that seems unlikely. I imagine you're not inclined to tell me anything. And why's that? It'd be inconvenient for you if we had all the facts, considering you're trying to eliminate us. <sighs> From the very beginning, you never intended for this world to survive. You think I'm trying to destroy the world? I do. So you think I'm enabling the Kaiju now? Even though I've got more reason to hate them than any of you? That is true, at least. You're clearly not on the Kaiju's side. After all, they are a threat to your primary objective. Which would be to carry out the plan you formed in 2188. However, that plan may now be untenable. The situation has deviated too drastically. Three months prior to the Newman Inc. incident, Newman was acquired by the conglomerate Shikishima. With these inner Lossiters, apparently some kind of nanomachine information technology, they've become one of the world's top megacorps. If Operation Aegis succeeds, a world reset will no longer be possible. This operation goes against Professor Morimura's agenda. She will stop at nothing to prevent it. This refers to the humans who can control the UFO's mainframe. Those compatible have nanomachines implanted in their bodies. Recall when I brought you to the underground UFO. I believe you said something like... It was out of your hands. This is the 
mainframe of the UFO? Yes. Honestly, Okino-kun. You can't take anything else in life seriously. So why do you put so much time into all this? <sighs> Okino. Just talking to myself. More importantly, look at this mess. Something unpleasant must have happened here. Most likely. Shikishima Android. Probably left here by Ida-san. They've all been shot. External damage suggests the weapon was a phaser. They're all out of commission. Too damaged to function. I see. Let's get started, then. Is it really possible? I have a fairly comprehensive grasp of this system. This abnormality all comes down to the decode, right? I should be able to get rid of it. Why would Miss Morimura push for Operation Aegis if this was an option all along? Well, you said it yourself. She's either being controlled by someone, or she could be trying to save herself. That's not right. Hold on. That file system hadn't even been analyzed yet. How did you gain access? I have a senior admin ID. Access privileges for the entire system. You somehow got access to an account that high level? Yes. I have my ways. This is no good. Sector 3's mainframe has been damaged in an attack. It's barely operational. I won't be able to process much here. Well, not much choice. I'll have to send direct instructions to the command ship. Command ship? The mothership in orbit. It can send commands directly to the UFO. Is it? An arc? Some grand design from the people of the future? Either that or a base of operations for an alien invasion. The comms channel to the command ship is cut off. Must be hiding somewhere beyond the horizon. Looks like about 35 minutes until the comms reconnect. But we don't have that long. Time to find another link. Will this fix cut off the Kaiju's attacks? It should be able to solve the problem at its core. However, we can't stop any commands that were already processed. That's out of my hands. Which means... We'll still have to deal with the Kaiju already generated. We don't know how many the factories have produced. If we could just verify their numbers... Hmm... We're going to need the Sentinels after all. That may be best. Operation Aegis is too much of a risk. In other words, the decode's activation is a blow you cannot recover from. No matter how you try to fix it, your plan is irreversibly impacted. The most direct fix would be eliminating the decode. Then, you would just restart the loop anew. That would revert the situation back to the original plan. Which is, in essence, your goal. You're overthinking this. In order to trigger a loop, you need them to destroy all the Sector's mainframes. And therein lies your goal. You want this world destroyed so the timeline can be reset. <sighs> but you have one major obstacle, and that's Operation Aegis. Aegis isn't just an ordinary defense system. It causes a terminal to seal itself off in self-defense, preventing anyone from using it to control the world. Once all the terminals are sealed off, we'll be severed from the mainframe. 
effectively preventing any further loop or extinction. <sighs> but if that happens, your plan is null and void. We'd be stuck in a loop where your goal was impossible. Fine then. Let's say all your wild speculation is correct. What do you plan to do about it? Let's backtrack a little bit. We discussed the suspect of Miss Morimura's murder. And you asked me who I think did it. Chihiro Morimura. If you actually are Professor Chihiro Morimura, then I believe you personally murdered Miss Morimura. Did I now? She was a staunch advocate of Operation Aegis. A thorn in your side, someone in the way of your reset. An interesting theory, if also an incorrect one. Believe me, I understand why you'd view me with hostility. Certainly Renya Goto was responsible for chasing you out of Newman. Even if it was on Shikishima's behalf, a buyer simply eliminating liabilities. After that, you took the lead on Project Ark. Under Kengo Ogata's oversight, Kengo Ogata, of course, being Nenji Ogata's father, and Shikishima's chairman, who recognized your talent. He passed away in 2187. His age caught up with him. But the other Kengo Ogata is perhaps more relevant. The one you created after his death using his memories. An AI construct. You were letting it control you. I was just getting advice. Dug that out of a log, too? Yes. Renya Goto found that AI. The log was recorded in the colony after your death. Once your clone reaches 18 years of age, you set it so that she'd download your memories. It's clear this project was not a selfish endeavor. I'm sure you felt a sense of duty to save humanity but you were also trying to bring Kengo Ogata back to life. So Professor Morimura takes over Chihiro Morimura's clone. And presumably, Kengo Ogata would take over Nenji Ogata's clone. <sighs> That's why you're so intent on sticking to the plan. Certainly, from your perspective, Ms. Morimura was expendable. She had to die. Her very survival endangered your ultimate goal. Well, that is a shame. This isn't ideal, but you know too much. Goodbye. <laughs>